What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to another episode. My name is King's Reaper and we pick it up right where we stopped the last episode. So we just turned in our quest for Mr. Ragman and uh, we will be doing some other quests this ride. So this time we will be doing grenades quests and pretty much trying to snipe some people while doing that. So I first grabbed this M700, suppressed M700 with M61 rounds in it and we went for some cheeky sniping shots on customs. So we spawned pretty much next to the train and pushed all the way across. And what I did here was, yeah, a bitch move. I was just sitting and waiting for somebody to come and use that extract. Now he knows I'm here, but he can't see me. And I did extract camp this dude, which is, yeah, for most people the most hated thing you can do, but since I couldn't find anybody else during this whole map, I went on, extract camped, picked up some gear and extracted at the same point he was trying to exit since it was my extract as well. So after that cheeky round and playing like a little rat, I went in to test the new ammo for this weapon. So this is the VPO 209 I believe and we suppressed it and made it pretty much like a sniper rifle with a 30 round mags with the new AP rounds in it. So. I took this weapon for a ride on shoreline, I spawned in, started going towards the resort when I saw somebody running here to this dam. And he was running no more. So at this point I was waiting just to see if he had a partner or if somebody else was coming, but nobody was. And the moment I started pushing down there, I caught up with a corner of my eye somebody sitting up there. few more shots to make sure he's really dead. So after killing that guy as well, which I luckily spotted in that bush, I went on, looted this guy to see pretty much what he had. He didn't have much, but hey, better something than nothing. So I looted both of these guys, took all they had, and they were pretty much looted. They had some decent items on them. And they had also good ammo. So after looting him, I started pushing around the gas station and decided to go for the island to pick up all the loot. But somebody had the same idea. Since it was late in the raid, I thought nobody is going to come here. But clearly somebody was. Now I wasn't sure if he saw me running around the island or no, so I had to play this cautiously. So I was waiting to see him, hear him, to get more of an idea where he's gonna be. And that box sound just gave him away. I knew exactly where he was. Grenade! And that was another dude dead. Unfortunately, it was not a player, it was a scav, but it was a scav player. He had some decent stuff on him, he had some keys, so after killing him, looting the island, I went on towards the extract and went out of this raid. So, not a bad raid, I'd say, but I wanted to test some more this ammo and this weapon, which would pretty much disappoint me right in the next raid. Now, after watching the footage again and again, I realized maybe it wasn't all about the ammo, sometimes it was my missed shots, but anyways, we spawned pretty much on the shore on customs, and I pushed only towards this bush waiting for somebody to come, so I could throw grenades and try to get those grenade kills, since we need 12 of them. So I noticed there were a couple of guys moving up here. And you can see two of them passing by, but there's the third as well. So I had to wait for the third to pass as well. And this was my opportunity to get a grenade kill. Oh, 
perfect nade, but the dude doesn't go down. And this is actually where that dude did go down, where I did kill him, although it took quite a few shots considering he was already damaged a lot by a grenade. Now his friends don't know immediately where I am, so I'm trying to snipe them still while I have the advantage on them. So as you can see, I'm firing multiple shots on them, but these guys simply refuse to die. So I decide to push on them, because I still have one grenade, and I thought, it's a good idea to push on them there too, they should, they should be pretty much damaged quite a lot from all the shots that I took already. So I push to this container, throw a grenade. And this is actually my big mistake. So now I'm in close range, they're using full automatic weapons while I am using a semi-automatic weapon. One of them pushes, and of course, immediately, as I pick him, he full autos me to death. So yeah, unfortunately I did not get the grenade kill, I did kill one of them, but the other two guys simply got me because of my mistake of pushing too close to them. If I sticked on the other side, I maybe would have got a headshot on one of them, and then it would be a lot easier, but unfortunately I was missing a lot of shots, and that, that didn't go well. But nonetheless, we went once again onto the customs, trying to get those grenade kills. So I sit in this bush for quite a while and wait for somebody to come. And eventually, somebody did come. So now I see this guy, and... I know where he's going, he's trying to push across the road, towards the extract, so he has no clue that I'm behind him, so I'm gonna start pushing after him, and wait for the perfect moment to throw that grenade. And that's it. He started fighting a scav, so it's time to push in and see if I killed him or no. And yes, he's dead. But this damn scav also spotted me. So that was one of the grenade kills that I needed. So yeah, pretty much good stuff. Grenade kill. I started pushing around looking for a bit more action. But eventually I went back to reload my guns and to get ready. When all of a sudden, somebody else started pushing here. And there was two of them. So at this point, I want to push out and start killing those guys. So let's take a few cheeky shots from the back. And that's when I start pushing all the way around. Now, these guys were playing f backwards, forwards. Unfortunately, the first guy I started shooting at didn't die. Then they immediately pushed somewhere away. I couldn't find them anymore, and that was pretty much it. I didn't kill them, but anyway, we went in for another raid with this beautiful MDR and some more grenades in order to try to get those grenade kills. So this time, we spawned once again on the shore on customs, and I pushed again for the same bush I did two raids ago. Because a lot of people are going to be traveling through this area, and this area seems to be quite open, so you should be able to get some grenades heal kills here. So yeah, this guy is pushing, I thought he's going to go for the first land bridge, but he goes for the second one. And this is the point where I say, let's just throw the nade and see what happens. Now, of course, you know now that I at least damaged him, but I did not only damage him, I actually killed him. So I picked his stuff, he was pretty much low geared, not, he didn't have much to, to loot, but whatever he did have, it was better than nothing. So he also killed another player, 
And yeah, two dog tags, why not? He had some good stuff on him from the big red, so I started pushing and I went for the extract. So after killing another guy with a grenade, we went once again onto customs with the same weapon, same loadout, with another grenade trying to get those grenade kills. So I spawned the nearest spawn possible to the mark room, for which I went of course. And after getting almost nothing, I think there was one TT pistol inside, which was disappointing, I went for that bush again. And then I saw this squad running across the field. Now this was my opportunity, again, to push after them, chase them and try to get those grenade kills. But since it was a squad, I had to approach cautiously because there could be one of them watching their backs and it wouldn't go well for me. And there they were, on the bridge, fighting scabs. But they are too far from my grenades. So let's start taking some silenced shots. And there we go, one dude is down, that means two remaining. So I hide in this container, try to find them to see where they are. I knew they pushed into the ditch next to the building across the road, but I didn't know where are they going to push next. So my thought was, they are probably going to push underneath the bridge and flank from my right. So in order to counter that, I decide to push right myself. So I went down on this side, slowly pushed to see where they are, but I couldn't tell exactly if they pushed where they were. I knew they would protect their friend's gear, they wouldn't leave it just in the middle of the road, so they were searching for me and I was looking for them. So I came up here, looked if they are here, I couldn't see them, and then I hear somebody behind me. Now, if this wasn't unlucky, I don't know what it was. Because of the desync, that dude took three headshots before going down, which is not something usual. And of course, he gives me one tap headshot, and that's it. So yeah, out of the whole squad, I did kill two guys. The third one probably saved all the gear from his friends and extracted, but that did not discourage me. So I went into another raid on customs, I spawned in the far corner, which I hate because it's hard to push out sometimes, people camp immediately on this corner of the map. So I started pushing slowly, trying to see if I can get out, and as soon as I get here and start pushing out... Somebody's shooting towards me. And we saw this guy just run into the train. But I don't think he was shooting at me. He had to have a friend or somebody else was shooting at me because he had no angle to shoot at me. Now I tried to get him from this distance, but unfortunately I did not kill him. I might have damaged him a bit, but that was not enough. So I start slowly pushing towards him, looking for him if he's gonna be hiding in these woods, in this tree line, but he's not. So I'm pushing slowly, trying to find this guy and eventually I had enough courage to push even further because the problem with this side push is there's a lot of bushes in front of you and if he's sitting in one of them I'm not gonna be able to see him he's just gonna give me a one tap headshot that's gonna be it so after clearing all the bushes in time of course I start pushing even further because I thought okay maybe they're gonna push on the other bridge so across from this area, there's the third land bridge down there, but I heard some noises still going on up there, so I sticked around here. And this, this guy was moving around here, but then I realized he was not alone. There was somebody else with him. Oh, he's crawling all right. And he's crawling no more.
Oh, here comes some grenades. Perfect. So his friend is still somewhere up there, trying to find me now, throw some grenades. I'm trying to get a cheeky angle so I could see this guy, where he is, try to sneak upon him. But my big mistake was, I stood in this position for too long. And after a certain time, I start hearing somebody else moving up there. So just as I start pushing towards here, because I thought his friend flanked... I get shot from behind from his friend. So yeah guys, this is gonna be it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed. We had some good raids, we had some bad raids. Again, the last raid was pretty much unlucky, but this is gonna be it for this episode. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notifications button to be notified when the next episode comes out. I'll see you in the next episode.